Hey y'all, it's the guideline series and in today's video, we're going to learn how to create proper guidelines for a 5x5 five five closure. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's my life. If you're a returning viewer on this channel, much love from this side. Thank you for regularly engaging with my content. It's really encouraging and I love you so much. So let's get right into today's video. This is the closure that I'll be working with. It's a five by five closure and I'll be placing it on my canvas head now. So I'm bringing it about half inch forward like I'm doing in the video. Then I have to pin down on both sides with my T pins. So I'm pinning on the first side and then I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side like I'm doing in the video. Bringing the closure forward just gives a realistic look after completing your wig construction. So we're going to go ahead to the back of the closure and paint down on both sides as well, just as we have paint down at the front. Now you have to make sure that you properly lay the closure so it fits perfectly. Like I'm doing in the video, I'm making sure that all sides are properly laid. That is a very crucial part of this process so we're just gonna go around again to check if everything aligns okay if everything is flat and good to sew down next i'm going to keep the closure in a ponytail just to get the hair out of my way when i start sewing the closure down this is the needle I'll be working with. It's called a C needle. I prefer the straight one to this, but I'll be working with this today. I'm just gonna go ahead and secure the thread on my first sewing, just like I'm doing in the video. So I'm just gonna sew around the closure. Now, fun fact is, I usually sew my closure with my machine, but this is a beginner friendly tutorial, so I wouldn't want to do any of those difficult techniques on this video i think i should uh, make a tutorial teaching how to use your machine to sew down your closure perfectly So now I'm going to go ahead to secure my tape roll on the wig cap and also secure at the bottom as well. Now for the guidelines, you can either use the metallic pen or a chalk, but I'll be using a chalk in this video to have a more pronounced and defined line so you can see properly. I usually start my guideline right above the band on the wig cap. So I go one inch apart on each line till I get to the top of the wig cap, just as I am doing in the video. Now 
now i'm just gonna go ahead and take off the tape roll so it doesn't get in my way as i extend the guideline from side to side like i am doing in the video let me tell you one thing nobody's gonna tell you a perfect guideline equals a very neat and flawless wig trust me once your guideline looks good your wig is gonna come out super neat so don't let anybody tell you that your guidelines doesn't have to look nice that is a lie you definitely want to take your time and get it right now we are moving to the side extensions first you're going to extend the first guideline towards the front so you bring this forward and then you do this you repeat the same thing on the other side like I'm doing in the video then you extend the second line as well now this part is very important because it helps your wig to stay as flat as possible keeps everything intact now you're gonna go back down to extend the lines from the bottom you want to tilt your hand a bit downward just a little bit not too much you want to sit your hand a bit downward and then extend the lines from the bottom to top and then you're going to re repeat this same process on the other side of your wig cap now i'm going to show you what will happen to your guidelines if you do not tilt your hand a bit downward so let's go i'm drawing the lines just across like i'm making it a straight line so can you see on getting to the top of the wig cap there is no more space for the other lines and you do not want this on your wig you do not want this at all so make sure you tilt your hand a bit downward to have a more precise guideline like i have on the right side thanks for watching if this video was helpful please subscribe to my youtube channel and share this video bye